Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, George, for the presentation, and also our distinguished speaker, Royce and John. Uh, just now, John mentioned about why Hong Kong is a preferred location as a headquarter, and also as a global logistic supply chain hub for China business. And I would like to share with you our personal experience, how we can, be, we have been able to make a successful penetration of our products and also business development in China. And I would like to illustrate our development in three focuses. The first is the past, how we have developed in the China market through Hong Kong. And secondly, what are we doing today? And also, I would like to share with you my crystal ball, how we are looking our development of the business and also our strategic thinking in future in China. And I would like first to go very quickly on the the past. And before I go in uh, to discuss about the past history, and I would like to recap very quickly about the competitive advantage of Hong Kong as a platform to develop China market. But I think all the guests sitting here today, you are fully aware of the competitive advantages. Therefore, I would like to skip. And the next one is in the past, Daichong has been a successful trading conglomerate in Hong Kong. And we have been enjoying a very steady business. And our business focus in Hong Kong at that time was motor and motor related business. We distribute the famous brands from the different parts of the world, including Bentley, Audi, Honda, Nissan, Yusuzu, etc. And we have made a very successful penetration of different brands in Hong Kong market and have been enjoying a good share of the market. And second core business is the food and fast moving consumer goods. And this has been our core business in the past. However, back to about 15 years ago, we found during the board of directors meetings that despite the fact the growth of our business in Hong Kong has been modest. However, because we have taken up quite a large slice of the market share in Hong Kong, therefore we felt that the expansion, the speed, is not as good as we expected. So 15 years ago, we also strike the work of change. How are we going to change for better? How are we going to develop a company to be a bigger conglomerate? So therefore, we have made extensive trips through all the directors of Dai Chong Hong group of companies. First, overseas, and the second one is China. And as a result of the trips, one statement has been confirmed to us is that we need to continue to use Hong Kong as a headquarter, but we need to develop in China. So what is the requirements from the marketplace and also from the consumers? First step, then we need to establish our infrastructure, that is distribution network. We have to rely on our worldwide sourcing network and also, we have to use our existing Hong Kong headquarter of the competent human resources and also talent pool, especially the market intelligence. And of course, supported by some ERP. And then, China is too big that you can cater in a short period of time. How are we going to phrase? So we decided that we have to phrase out in four 
areas. And at that time, you know, we found out that uh, Chinese government is going to launch four economic powerhouses in China. The first one is China South, of we call the Pearl River Delta, and the second one is China East, is Changxi River Delta, and the third one is Beijing and Tianjin, as we call Buhai Wan area. And of course, later on is the Southwest. Therefore, first we set up our first regional office in Guangdong, in Guangzhou. And then we develop the satellite cities. And secondly, we develop Shanghai as our regional headquarters as uh, in the uh, Changjiang River Delta. And the third one uh, is Beijing and Tianjin. And recently, we developed uh, the uh, Chengdu and also Chongqing area. But there is one lesson that we learned when we developed uh, all these regional centers, that a lot, of, a lot of our customers is saying that, you know, you know, we want to capture, we want to penetrate China market, but China is too huge that you cannot capture or you can penetrate, you know, in just one area of China alone because each province has different cultures and you need to understand the culture. As we always say, it must be market-driven and customer-driven. So next, then after we set up almost 50 uh, distribution centers, center with these, uh, by these four regional centers. And one thing we found out quite in the recent past, that the distribution network is good, but still not enough. Because we have been required by all our overseas suppliers that how we can add value to them. Therefore, next, then we have to set up a comprehensive logistic one-stop supply chain system. And what is the use and the functioning of this one-stop supply chain is cost saving and efficiency. And then because we are going to adapt the successful inroad of the distribution in China step by step from south, east, and then north and southeast. Therefore, we set up the first comprehensive logistic center in a city called Jiangmen, which is about one hour of drive from Guangzhou. And we want to set up a, a standard model to replicate into other provinces. Therefore, in this comprehensive logistics center, it will be equipped. Actually, we transform our established logistics facilities and centers from Hong Kong into German. Therefore, it is equipped with our FID, VMI vendor management inventory, bonded and bonded, uh, import bonded and export bonded warehouses. And then because of our planning, we got the support from the city and provincial government that they established an office of custom office and Chinese quarantine office inside our logistics center and making all our procedures very simple and fast. So this successful model has been running very smoothly for about one year. And then of course, we have also acquired a good support internationally and also from China. And then three years ago, because of the successful penetration also planning into Hong Kong and China, Therefore, three years ago, we went public and become a public listed company. And I'm very happy to 
to say that uh, uh, we are pleased with the performance because in the past three years, our CAGR growth is top line 26 percent and the bottom line is 32 percent. And we want to sustain this growth. And I would like to take a chance to share with you what is the future and also my personal crystal ball. But we need to have a fact finding. The fact finding is that we can see that China is very strategic. First, they developed the railway system. And secondly, all the highway system. And the third one, all the bridges, cross harbor bridges, cross city bridges. And what next is the super rail. And I think super rail will expedite China to be one of the top three economic powerhouses in the world with very appreciable GDP growth. You can see that, uh, you know, in a short period of, say, two, three years of time, Beijing will be directly connected to Guangzhou and Hong Kong, and Shanghai to Chengdu. And this crisscrossing networking, so what is the lesson we can learn from this infrastructure? to bring the rural area to be urbanized and quicken the step of development. Therefore, this is a golden opportunity for all the guests, including us today, that we have to ride on this golden opportunity. And then what next about future? What is our strategic planning for the future? Therefore, we make another extensive trip because we believe Communication is the best to understand the market and also the customer needs. So through extensive discussion and in-depth meetings with all the customers in globally and also in China, we found out another lesson. is that we need to add extra value to the customer. The world is change and asking for better services. So what is, the, uh, what is the services we need and what we need to perform to our customer is extra added value, that is we call collaboration. Because China in the near future, it will not be another play, a country for cheap labor, cheap production areas. We need to add value. That's the reason why the key lesson that we learn is that we have established value added facility in Hong Kong and also in China. I take a case study. We have a very potential customers and then during our uh, the discussion uh, overseas, they give us a target. How can we increase our sales 200% in two years' time. However, we need to bring down the cost. So the answer is then we set up a repackaging center so that we bring in the raw material. Instead of the finished product, we bring the raw material. And then we process. And then we design the packaging. Why? Because we found out something, that the packaging is coming from China. All the design comes from the chi from chi Chinese uh, service providers. That's the reason why we build up another center we call Value Added Repacking Center. And then we bring the raw material, repack, and then and pack in a bonded warehouse. So that part of the products we penetrate into China through all these, we have 50 cities of distribution uh, center services uh, to all the customers. And then at the same time, because the product is not landed in uh, Chinese territory, therefore we also re-export to all the international markets. And we found out after one year, the sales goes up 100% and the cost reduced 20%. And this is the future. So it means 
that we have to add extra value. Now, the message we learned from the exercise in the past, present, and hopefully in the future is we need continue, continuously adding value to the products. And I would like to suggest, I understand we have the time constraint, and I would like to suggest a very simple formula for penetration of the business, your business into China, my very personal suggestions, because simple is beauty. Contact TDC, try to find a good partner. <laughs> Not because TDC invited me, but because you know, I'm telling something very close to my heart. And also next, if you, have, you, you, you want to have a solution for your business in China, come to talk with me. And last of all, is I would like to present to you a video about the activity of our company. Please. Chung Hong Holdings Limited was incorporated in 1949 and is a publicly listed company in Hong Kong. The major shareholder of Dao Chung Hong is CITIC Pacific Group, which owns 58.67% of Dao Chung Hong and is a Beijing backed conglomerate with strong China government relationship. Led by our strong board of directors and highly professional staff. Da Chong Hong has developed three main core businesses. These include motor sales and services, food and consumer products, total supply chain and logistics. For logistics, DCH has strong infrastructures in Hong Kong, Macau, and China. In Hong Kong, DCH Logistics manages four multi-temperature distribution centers with total area of 200,000 square meters. The four distribution centers are well equipped with tailor-made racking system and managed with advanced inventory management system. DCH is also one of the largest cold chain operators in Hong Kong with frozen storage capacity of 20,000 tons. Last year, DCH has managed 134 40-foot containers of thawing operations for Ferrero in Hong Kong. In Macau, DCH focuses on providing supply chain services to five-star hotels and local food service chains. In China, DCH has established a half million square meters of logistics park, which is located in Xinhui Center of Pearl River Delta. Our logistics park includes bonded and non-bonded warehouses, repacking center, frozen warehouse, third-party logistics warehouse, and DCH administration building. Bonded warehouse, export supervised warehouse are located inside the DCH bonded logistics park and are officially licensed by Customs Administration Bureau. Equipped with enclosed loading platform and advanced DCH cold chain management IT system, DCH Frozen Warehouse caters 5,000 tons of frozen products ranging from zero to minus 25 degrees Celsius. There are 12 different temperature compartments inside the cold warehouse ranges from zero to four degrees Celsius, minus 18 degrees Celsius, and minus 25 degrees Celsius to provide flexibility to cater different temperature required products requirements. Bonded Repacking Center provides a 20,000 square meter air conditioned repacking service. Uniform dressed and hygienically trained staff work in the HACCP and ISO 9001 certified repacking center. DCH provide customs and CIQ declaration services as well. Due to the strong government relationship, we are an official agent for China importation handling customs, hygiene, and quarantine procedures. 
After repacking and given by the NVOCC license, our team is able to arrange freight forwarding to ship out the repackaged goods. DCH also arranged air-conditioned delivery fleet to carry out on-time distribution to any cities in China. We operate different regional warehouses in different provinces to fulfill domestic distribution needs. As a result, the goods can be delivered to the market swiftly. From Italy to Xinhui, by shipping and freight forwarding. In Xinhui, DCH handles the customs and CIQ declarations on behalf of Ferrero. The incoming goods is managed under our bonded warehouse management system. Apart from bonded repacking, DCH also provides value-added services, such as material sourcing and repacking box design. Transportation is also carried out in China, Asia, and other countries. Now let's go through the actual operations workflow in detail. From the start, Ferrero chocolates are shipped from Italy to China. DCH provides a seamless supply chain and cold chain management to Ferrero. Goods arrive in Xinhui port that is an international port for direct embarking. The customs and CIQ offices are located inside the DCH logistics park enabling us to provide a seamless and efficient declaration for Ferrero chocolates importing to China. We have world standard cold storage facilities for thawing of chocolates from minus 25 degrees to 4 degrees Celsius before repacking. Inside the repacking center, our qualified QC team will check the incoming and finished products under the client specifications to ensure that each piece has been externally inspected before and after repacking. DCH has the highest flexibility in production and can provide semi-automation production with investment in production machinery. DCH also provide international one-stop bonded repacking and supply chain services for international well-known branding companies such as UK, GSK, GlaxoSmithKline, Lico, Kinnerton, New Zealand, Fonterra, United States, Almond Roca, Argentina, Arcora, France, Locatane. As a result, DCH provides a world-class service to achieve economy of scale and share the benefits to other international branding companies. Apart from HACCP and ISO 9001 certifications, our repacking center also got the British Retail Consortium, BRC, and FDA certifications. In fact, our repacking center has a solid track record of handling Ferrero wedding packs, Renoir chocolates and different items for China market. After the importation of bulk chocolates from Italy, DCH repacked the goods in the bonded or non-bonded warehouse to meet Ferrero's requirements. After repacking, the goods are stored under the Ferrero GMP specificated warehouse in Xinhua. DCH has a strong nationwide distribution network for in China. Therefore, our Xinhua Logistics Park is a one-stop supply chain solution center to distributing goods to cover major cities in China. Backed up by our strong distribution service in China, DCH ensures that Ferrero products are delivered to each distribution channel both efficiently and cost-effectively. Ten elements have contributed to our success. One, strong China network, mature distribution channels and logistics hub developments in China. Two, world standard service, track record of a lot of international branding companies. Three, sourcing repacking materials, strong connections of sourcing and design team in China. Four, bonded repacking, international accreditation quality repacking center and economy of scale production. Five, food safety testing, a strategic firewall pre-testing service to ensure that food products are safe for importation to China. Six, cold chain management, different cold compartments to provide full range of temperature storage conditions. Seven, flexible warehousing service, scalable half million square meter of bonded repacking center, frozen warehouse, and temperature controlled warehouses. 
Eight, one-stop supply chain solution. Seamless supply chain services of importation, repacking, cold chain management, and distribution in China. Nine, customs and CIQ relationship. Strong government connection for CITIC Pacific Beijing background. Ten, efficiency and effectiveness. Smooth process of importation and freight forwarding services. Dachung Hong Logistics is your perfect collaboration partner in China and global markets. Well, thank you very much, uh, Alex. And uh, the, uh, I think also the video has uh, given you a very clear picture of uh, what is uh, logistics management in, in China. So I hope uh, some of you have found the time uh, to write a few questions on, on the sheet you have in front of you. If not, uh, could you please uh, let us have those questions as soon as possible. Uh, due to time constraints, I think we'll just have very few questions, uh, but the uh, presentation and the video together, I think, have made uh, the, uh, the presentation so clear that maybe there are not too many questions. So in the meantime, maybe, uh, Alex, could I ask you uh, one thing? Uh, with the uh, expansion uh, or the move uh, more and more out of Guangdong to, to the west uh, for cost reasons or other reasons, uh, will that affect uh, the logistics management in China? I, I think that, uh, you know, as I said just now, that, uh, you know, uh, riding on a successful penetration of the distribution network into China. Therefore, uh, we have first set up our comprehensive logistics centers to provide uh, one-stop supply chain in Guangdong, we call South. And then next, we move to Shanghai. And then next is to Beijing. Therefore, you know, that will be very cost effective when we set up our, another distribution center in the other parts of China. Thank you. Uh, there is a question on, on the floor, please. If I were a uh, food manufacturer in the States, is there a, a minimum size of company that I have to have in order for you to take on my product? Do you, what, what sort of criteria do you put on a potential supplier? Uh, this is a very good question. And, uh, you know, uh, traditionally we are dealing with the, con say, food business, a conglomerate from all over the world. But then we found that, you know, there is a huge potential uh, to support the SME. That's the reason why, for example, from Europe, uh, we have been cooperating with a port of Valencia. And then the port of Valencia will consolidate the product uh, in Valencia. So it means that it, it is not necessary to be a full container load. And then comes to uh, the logistics center. And then, for example, it will be in the, the, uh, the label is Spanish. In order to cope with the Chinese government requirement, then we'll relabel into bilingual and also to tailor make uh, the, the, the product to the market requirement in terms of the packaging, size, uh, and also the design. So therefore, it means, to answer your question, we are flexible. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Flexibility is the key. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I have another question here. Uh, to what extent is the logistics supply chain industry regulated in China? This is a, another very insight question. <laughs> in China, this is my personal experience and also, also track record tells us, in doing business or your, when you plan strategically in China, you need first to understand the strategic development direction of China, Chinese government. So what is the concern of the Chinese government today is, number one, uh, 
supply chain. Why? Because chi uh, Chinese government believe that if the supply chain is effective, then you will create a lot of cost saving. And secondly, there is a lot of scandals of food safety in China. And therefore, another major area that we have to observe is food safety. And that's the reason why we have been able to build up a food safety testing center in our logistics center. And this is to follow and cope uh, with the Chinese government policy. And then if we follow and cope with Chinese government policy, then your product will be safe and secure in promotion or penetration in the market. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chu. I think we'd have, unfortunately, to uh, stop uh, at, uh, at this uh, juncture. Uh, time is, is flying. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you very much for coming. And uh, uh, since I understand that you, you have a, an urgent appointment. And then we will move to the next speaker. And in the meantime, well, thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you very much. Please accept my apology.